Greetings, welcome to this ADSR video tutorial. Uh, we're going to move forward with the Zebra Evolving Soundscape that we started a few weeks ago. However, the kind of mood I'm in today, I'm just going to do what I call fly by the seat of your pants tutorial. I'm just going to start where we left off and just see where I go. So, it'll be a little bit more interesting. You see my kind of train of thought as I'm working away. And I've, I've got no idea what I'm aiming for. I just want to make a 16 bar extended uh, soundscape. So what do we have at the moment? Right, so that was obviously from the last one. So that's it's just kind of looping really, right? I'm going to make this a little bit more interesting. I'm going to move this up there and I'm going to take the end of the loop up to the 16th bar. Actually, the 15th bar and I'll let the release portion deal with that. So i just make sure it's running properly. One, let's see if it's here when it gets to five up there. Now, yep. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just leave that on notes. I'll leave this on notes as well, but we'll just let that loop. Now, what I want to do is, let's have a look and see what Oscillator 2 sounds like on its own. I'm just going to turn everything off, just so I'm not confused. As you all know how confused I get pretty easily. Okay, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to change that to MSEG1. Let's hear. Right, but I'm not really, I don't really like that sound. So I'm just going to turn that off for the moment, put the volume back up. So I can find, I'm going to bypass the effect. I just want to see if there's anything else on this that I've forgotten about. So there isn't, it's a quad, there's a bit of detuning. And it's oscillator 2, so we've just got a basic, I'm going to change it. I'm going to do something different. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. And I am going to use... Let's have a look at our MSEGs. MSEG2 is going to mess around with the waves. I want to put that right up. Okay. And hmm, if I want that to continue like that, if I do that and take that, Okay, it's not going to allow me to do that, but if I take that over to here and kind of one, two, three, four, make that the loop end. Let's see and make that the loop start. No, we'll leave that like that for the initial ramp up. So if I, mm -mm, let me just change that so nothing moves unduly. If I take that up to there and just double click on that, straighten it up a bit. Let's hear what I've done. Nothing because the volume's up. I want that to be MSEG2. So we're getting this bit coming in now. Right, I forgot to make that at the beginning of the loop. So we can get it to ramp up until it gets to about halfway through the sequence and then go through that looping sequence after part eight. And remember, this is the one that's going to be controlling the wave position. So that's going to be moving. I 
everything else still ramping up to 16, remember? Okay. Um, it's obviously going to sound different with the delay and the reverb on. And that's going to main anyway, so that should go through the delay and the reverb. We'll just check that. Start to sound a little bit more ethereal. Okay. What I also like is because this bit isn't perfect, it adds a little bit of randomness. What about having some something a bit deeper? So let's just over here just use oscillator four. I like to just turn everything off so I can see more of what I'm working on over here. I'm just gonna tune that not that much, and I'm gonna change that to bus one. I don't want any effects going through there at the moment. And I also want Oscillator 4 to be a sine wave. Where are you? Sine tree? Okay. So on C3, that sine wave sounds like this. Okay, so down 24 semitones or 2 octaves. And I'll get that to re-trigger. Turn the volume up a bit. In fact, let's use a global LFO and put it into user. And we'll draw something. And there you go, each bar. So it's triggering on each bar now. But is that really what I want? Right, that's that's pretty freaky. That that's that that instantly reminded me of a merry-go-round for some reason. Let's see if it's too freaky. Right, okay, it's kind of there, but obviously that came in way too early. So we need to control the... Well, maybe put a filter in there, actually. Okay, so we're kind of... Our sound's evolving. The volume on oscillator 4 has just taken far too much. So if I can come in here, copy that, go to MSEG3, paste that. Let's see if I can bring it down like this and use MSEG3 to control the volume of that one. Let's 
see what happens if I put it on to main. Because the delay and reverb might be really nice on that sound. Well, the delay and reverb is really nice on the sound. However, it's really annoying me why the volume, really envelope one, should be all we need. MSCG one. Obviously, we need a piece of volume here. Okay, it does work, it's just extremely loud for a start. So what I'm going to do is just add that there and one, two, three, that's not what we want, we want there and we'll ramp it up from there. So maybe give it a little bit more if it's going to main yet. Let's hear what that sounds like. I think it might have been appropriate for it to ramp from there perhaps and it's also starting to give me some musical ideas because now I'm starting to think that once this 16 bar intro is finished and let's say a kick drum kicks in I want this little pattern to play along with a kick drum for a while okay so I ran with that little idea and as you can see what I've done I've got the 16 bar intro and then what I did is I create the little bass line with another zebra but I went and got another zebra and basically the patch that I just showed you how to make is this one I just opened it up in another zebra turned everything off except oscillator 4 removed the modulation from oscillators 4 oscillator 4's volume as you can see here I left the LFO one uh, the LFO the global LFO modulating the wave and that's it so let's have a listen and see what we've got now see if it works hopefully it does and it'll look like a right tool Sounds pretty okay to me. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. Just by simply, the original patch hasn't really been changed that much. I removed oscillator 2 from the linear path um, so we could hear it a bit more. And I added oscillator 4, which we then controlled. We added a sine tree, and we controlled the waves with this global LFO, which gives us that pattern. As I was doing that, it's triggered the idea for this track. I'll probably change this into a whole new track now. It, changed, it triggered the idea for creating this continuation, which I thought, um, makes a really smooth transition from this intro to this kind of next build up also remember that it's not a true 16 bar loop I've stopped the loop at bar 
15. Now that's only 15. If a true, if it was a true 16 bar loop, it would finish here. The release portion finishes on the end of a 16. So it gives us a little bit randomness, variation, whatever you want to call it. So there you have it. I know I've only showed you a couple of ideas, but that's it. Just mess around. I want you. I don't want to teach you everything. I don't even want to teach you. 25% of what you know. I just want to give you ideas and I want to see those ideas spark and create loads of new and exciting stuff for you. And whatever you do, if you want to let me listen to it, please do. I'm always open for listening to people's stuff. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything because there's a lot of videos getting done at the moment. And I shall see you in the next video. Tare bye for now.